Oh, have you guys thought of like whenever uh, uh, Rocco like casts a spell? It's like that scene in uh, the new Doctor Strange movie where it's like playing an instrument and like a missile goes flying out. That's what we uh, I did that in the when you all fought the Fey creature and he was he was also a bard. He would shoot like little notes at he shot one note at at Timbo. <laughs> <laughs> when I think of things like that, I think of Scott Pilgrim versus yeah. great musical fight scenes, great battles. Great movie. <laughs> Terrible protagonist. He's a bad guy. Terrible. Just the story is awful. Like, it's just like such a... He's not a good guy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> also, dating a high schooler as like a 24-year-old. Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Scary. Oh, my God. Just so nonchalantly dating a high schooler. I was like, dude, this is an issue. <laughs> a Weinstein production. A Weinstein production. <laughs> oh, I actually watched that documentary. Documentary last oh. night, and I've listened to the book that Ronan Farrow. That book is intense, dude. I have it. It's a lot. It's it is a lot. lot. Holy fuck. Catch and kill, baby. Ronan Farrow, if you want to ruin your day. <laughs> I know. If you want to get really bummed out. Uh. It's just wild. And like, you don't realize how many movies, like, how many good movies Miramax fucking made. His name's on a ton of shit. Super good movies. Like, creative genius. Horrible person. Yeah, I'm, and I'm like, well, he didn't make him. He just chose him. But he picked really well, and that is curation is an art form, you know. Like, yeah, like everyone in Hollywood is pretty terrible. He was a special kind of monster, but he did really care about movies, and he really formed a lot of the movies that we think are special of the oh '90s, you know. Yeah, that's so, it's so fucking crazy because I'll be like, oh, this is a fun movie. I should rewatch it, and then fucking the Miramax logo like, comes yeah. up. Like, God damn it. <laughs> Yo, how funny, but not funny, kind of fucked up that if you animated all of this into like a video, just the Weinstein talk. Just us talking about Weinstein. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> just draw him looking like a, like an ogre or like a troll. Not a good guy. No. Not a good guy. Not a good guy. I also think it's like, it's funny right now. It's not really funny, but like Lassiter, who was sent away for his crimes again from Pixar is now there. Like, I don't know if you've seen ads for the movie Luck. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it says from the creator of like, I don't know, cars and something else. And it's like, I wonder who that is. <laughs> Wait, does he suck too? Yeah, he was like a really creepy dude. He used oh, to- God. Everyone sucks, dude. Yeah. People who would, like women who would get hired to Pixar would be warned to be like, yeah, don't like... wear skirts when uh, Lasseter is around. Don't hug him. Don't let him be close to you. It's like, jeez Louise, dude. Yeah. yeah. It's rough to be the kids of small time, big time monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I think about like Louis CK's kids a lot. Yeah. They're also, because they're such a big part of his comedy it must be so weird like i don't know what that's like i loved louis with louis specifically his work has completely been ruined for me like now i don't find him funny at all like yeah, i tried tarnishes. watching yeah, you just, yeah. one of his new specials and i was like yeah it's not funny anymore same with like woody allen like woody yeah. allen movies well, i have a totally different perspective watching woody allen movies now because i used to justify because i've always everyone you know woody allen's Controversy has always been around. We everyone's known about it, yet we all act like yeah. it's fine. And I used to justify it by being like, by the movies being like, oh, these are characters that he's uh, he's observing, like, because all his characters are like that. And I'm like, these are people he's making fun of. And then like now you realize, no, this is a confession. Oh, <laughs> he's God. confessing. It's just him on screen living out his fantasies. Yeah. He's like work. Maybe he's working through his guilt, if anything. But like, dude. I can't watch these movies now. It's so crazy to see like you ever like you interact with one of their apologists and you're just like, oh, like in college, I met um, a Roman Polanski apologist. <laughs> oh my God. He's like, he was just so interesting and this and that. What he did wasn't even that bad. <laughs> And I just like looked at him. I was like, oh yeah? And then it was like a three oh, yeah. second pause. And he was like, maybe he, yeah, what he did was wrong. And I'm like, <laughs> like what the fuck? I don't know. I think I think Harvey Weinstein's a pretty nice guy. I don't think he. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, what if I like in the edit just not put Luke saying anything except that? <laughs> <laughs> like it's just the very end. I got a lot to say about uh, the Weinstein thing, and uh, what he did wasn't really that bad. Your head, you know? <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, this is all quality D and D content. I think, so that's good. <laughs>